Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, as you know, this is part of the cultural awareness series that we have here at City Hall. We have been doing this for about the, uh, uh, since April, the, uh, since April of this year, and this is our fifth presentation. And the, um, um, I, the, um, I am this. I'm very happy to do this. I am welcome you to today. The theme of this presentation is basically Thanksgiving, a, a, a different perspective, you know, a perspective that every of the speakers are going to be talk, talk, talk about. And, the, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you make your own assessment of this situation. It's a controversial one, but this is a, it's very important for us to be, to be informed, to be educated, and that's one of the goals of the cultural awareness series okay I want to acknowledge today uh, the chief uh, Tom okay from the peak what what nation Algonquin and the uh, and some other members also from the Wampanoag uh, uh, Jim Jonathan Jim Peters okay I was friends with your brother I guess was your father Okay, you were, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was John Peters from the Indian Council, right? Uh, long ago, yes. And the um, and also a member of my planning committee, uh, is the Sami Khan. Okay. So I want to thank you for coming, and I'm gonna leave my the microphone to my moderator, uh, um, Muhammad Ali Salam. Okay. Thank you, Muhammad. My name is Mohammed Ali Salam. I work at the Boston Redevelopment Authority. And the reason I'm here is to kind of warm, warm you up before the presentation. My role is to be a moderator. The idea is to uh, have our three guest speakers, Ms. Baxter Marlowe, Mr. Whedon, Paul Whedon, and Linda Coombs from the Plymouth Plantation uh, be our guest speakers. The objective is not to cover the history of Native Americans in America in an hour and 15 minutes. That would not be fair to the subject or to you or to the presenters. So what we want to do is concentrate on essentially the first 50 years after the pilgrims came and the, the focal point is Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving celebration. Our host. Thank you, Mohammed. And I want to thank all the speakers. Thank you very much for coming today and presenting your perspectives and your thoughts. Um, and I want to thank my staff, Amando and James and everybody else and people and folks on the committee. Who are those of you who have put this presentation together? Thank you. Thank you all for making this happen. I just want to say that we live in a very diverse culture and in a history that has been a challenging history. And for us to be able to move forward, we have to be able to honor the history, learn from it, and to be able to move forward in a very thoughtful way. So I'm hoping that this discussion will do that for all of us here. We're in a very diverse culture. We hope that history repeats itself only in the aspects that are good and that enhances life. And, not, and to learn from the mistakes that have been made, right? The mistakes where people do not respect each other, we don't want that to happen again. But all I'm saying is that, you know, I'm, this is a dialogue that I think we will all have, not only about the past, because we, only have to, we also have to learn and honor the past, but we also have to be able to look forward to the future so that we can learn from it and we don't repeat the mistakes that was made in the past. And to look forward to really a society of equality, a Boston that is completely welcoming to all, that everybody has a place. The issues have th that I've listened to today are issues that we still w work with, that we still have to face, particularly, um, it's, it's really an issue for everybody, whether you're a person of color or whether you're white. When somebody is oppressed, everybody is oppressed. When somebody is not free, we are all not free. And this is the, the I guess, task that we're all engaged in, is to make sure that we understand that liberation is one. And we all need together to work together to make not only this world, but this city, the